erased. That's right, Marnie. As we expected, a big name, Senator Tim Scott from South Carolina, threw his hat in today, starting an exploratory committee for president, which basically means he's not officially declared yet, but he gets to act like one. So for all intents and purposes, he's now in the race. He'll have an uphill battle, just like anybody who is not named Trump or DeSantis at this point. But remember, it's early. We got almost a year before voters actually go to the polls for the Republican primary. You've got Donald Trump's legal issues. So too early to count anybody out at this point. Remember these? He's just not ready to be president. They're back already. It may only be April of 2023, but the 24 Republican presidential campaign season is in full swing. This week, former President Trump's super PAC launching its first TV attack ads against their biggest Republican threat, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. I think you know Ron DeSantis. The former president still has a commanding lead in most polls, more than 20 points ahead of DeSantis, who has yet to formally announce. Trump 24! Trump 24! And ever since Trump's indictment, Republican voters have rallied to his side. The former president now making it a focal point of his campaigning. Criminal is the district attorney because he illegally leaked massive amounts of grand jury. And while Trump throws punches at Ron DeSantis daily, DeSantis has yet to respond in kind. Instead, traveling the country, focusing his early campaigning on what he calls the Florida blueprint. If you look at my administration, part of the reason we're able to do well, you know, they're not leaking to the media. We don't have palace intrigue. We don't have any drama. It's just execution every single day. And we end up beating the left every single day. And if that was a subtle shot at Trump, at least one candidate has finally decided to be less subtle about attacking the former president. Join me, Nikki Haley. <laughs> Nikki Haley, former U.N. ambassador, sending this letter to her donors during her trip to Iowa this week, saying, quote, Trump's candidacy is more consumed by the grievances of the past and the promise of more drama in the future rather than a forward-looking vision for America. Meantime, Republican voters still waiting on Vice President Mike Pence. Tuesday at the University of Alabama, Pence says if he does run, he'd run on Trump-Pence policies, but with civility. I hope people would, uh, would not only look at who we are, but how we sought to carry ourselves over the course of our career. And just a couple of other names to be cognizant of. One, Governor Asa Hutchinson, former Arkansas governor. He is a declared candidate. He presents himself as an alternative to Trump. And declared candidate Vivek Ramaswamy, a multimillionaire tech uh, entrepreneur who is now running a very young man. Also, Mike Pompeo, former Secretary of State, has not yet announced, but there's a lot of speculation, Marnie, that he might. And Joe, Senator Scott, the only African-American Republican in the Senate right now, and his launch video brought up race explicitly. Yeah, it did. And it was interesting itself. He timed out this video, this announcement, with the anniversary of the beginning of the Civil War in his own state. So that in itself, pretty interesting. It was a uniting video. He talked about his faith, but he pretty aggressively also attacked Democrats on race, being a black Republican. Here's how he framed it. They weaponize race to divide us, to hold on to their power. When I fought back against their liberal agenda, they called me a prop, a token, because I disrupt their narrative. I threaten their control. So, Marnie, that specifically made some waves already on social media. Tim Scott's going to be an interesting candidate to follow. You mentioned he is the only black uh, Senate Republican right now. And he's also somebody that has respect from both the MAGA wing of the party and the more establishment wing. Not a lot of people these days can say that. So he'll be interesting to watch and, and to see how his campaign progresses. Keeping a close eye on a growing field of Republicans looking for that office in 2024. It looks like another